There are so many elements to this. And when people say, well, why have we known about this before? There's another aspect to this, a kind of a bigger aspect. And that's when you stop self-identifying the I with the labels of a human life, a very brief human. I am a man, I'm a woman, I'm this religion, that religion, this race, that race, this sexuality, that sexuality. And you realize that they're just brief experiences. People are multidimensional entities. We operate on multiple levels of mm -hmm. consciousness, awareness, frequencies, dimensions. Um, when you um, uh, look at the foundation of the whole conspiracy of human control. It's to isolate human perception in the five senses. That's, that's mm -hmm. the whole basis of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's to um, get people to perceive and glean their information and their opinions and their conclusions only from what they can see, touch, taste, and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where most people are at. And uh, what that means is that if you isolate people's attention, point of attention, perceptions in the five senses, then at that level is interacting with this world we call the human world. And therefore, its sources of information are the mainstream media and all these different elements and in the institutions of human society. That's where they're getting their information from. Now, when you break out of the five senses alone, and you start tapping into expanded levels of awareness, which everybody can, it's only a choice, then you start to have a filter. It's like, um, imagine if you were just focused on this computer screen, and that was your only reality. There's nothing out here. There's only that. And when you, um, you do that, you get a certain perception of reality when you do it. But when you, when you uh, step back and step back and step back and you put that into a greater context, suddenly you're seeing the, you're seeing that in a completely different way now. Um, I mean, you know, if you, if you stood next to a, uh, next to a house, a house wall, really close, your perception would be of a hazy, fuzzy kind of redness. And you'd think, what's all this about? And then, you start walking backwards. You're getting the bigger panorama. Oh, now you've seen that you were looking at a brick, which is in a wall, which is in a house, which is in a street, which is in a town, which is in a country, which is in a, 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 a world. And, and the only difference between that and that is perspective, perception. It's another aspect to this, a kind of a bigger aspect. And that's when you stop self-identifying the I with the labels of a human life, a very brief I am a man, I'm a woman, I'm this religion, that religion, this race, that race, this sexuality, that sexuality. And you realize that they're just brief experiences. Brief experiences for consciousness, which is, which is eternal, which is infinite, which is forever exploring, well, forever. You start to play the long game in the sense that you don't uh, feel the need to go into a sprint from A to B, from the uh, from the womb to the grave, in a gotta 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 gotta, uh, where you know um, I gotta do this, gotta do that, gotta do the other, and you don't either see a human life as a thing in itself, but as a just one brief experience in an infinite experience and and when you're coming from the fact that i am the consciousness having the experience i'm not the experience itself that's what i'm having that's what i label it then <clears throat> lots of things change for instance go back to the same thing what people think about you and and say about you or whatever pales into insignificance because they are 
commenting, perceiving on a tiny little fragment of a tiny little experience called a human life. Well, I've spent 20 years in nearly 50 countries researching a great stream of different subjects which on the face of it appear completely unconnected. And it's only when you connect these apparently unconnectable subjects and areas of society and life that the puzzle pieces fit to the point where you can go, oh, I can see it now. Billions of people wake up every morning and they go to work um, or they try to survive another day. They're not spending 20 years fitting these pieces together. So how can they see it? Until I started fitting them together, I couldn't see it. I was very skeptical of authority, I always was, and the people who claim to be in power, but this bigger picture, I ain't got a clue. And one of the areas, to come to your question, that I've understood more and more in the last few years, has to be looked at before we can understand the true nature of what's going on in the world, and that's actually the true nature of reality and how we can control our own reality instead of having our reality dictated to us. I mean, you know, we think we are at the cutting edge of human knowledge and everything. And yet, if you stop someone in the street out there or in, in any other city in the world, and you said to them, who are you? Where do you come from? Where are you going when this is over? And... um what is the nature of reality? And here we are, living our lives every day in this world, and we don't even know what this world is. The few who are behind the people we see, they know what this world is. And they know how the mind works. They know how, um, if you can... Uh, control the way people think and perceive, you can ple completely control their lives. If I want to wave my hand about, my hand doesn't wave about. I have thought to wave my hand. So if you can control that level of people, then their behavior is completely controlled by you. I went through the last few years looking at this, this deeper level of this conspiracy, how we're manipulated to think and perceive the way that suits the agenda. And of course, even on a simple, simple level, if you can get the vast majority of people to perceive the European Union as a good thing, to perceive that it is the only way forward, to perceive it is their safety, to perceive it's the, the way to secure them economically, they'll, they'll, they'll agree to join the European Union. There'll be no problem.